Today is Tuesday and I'm back to Vancouver. So I just arrived in Vancouver downtown. And what, what I usually do, I... Okay, so whenever you go through math academia, when you're like in community college or as an undergraduate, then a graduate student, postdoc, after this, you're going to become a tenure track professor. There's always like things, items that you need to do. Like there's like a to-do list and there's a couple of challenges. So the first, sometimes when you enter the new stage in your life, for example, when you go from high school to college, from college to PhD, from PhD to postdoc, usually you don't know like what is the to-do list because you have really limited amount of time that you can spend in a certain school, do certain things. And sometimes you might think or like focus on the stuff that you will think that they're going to be important and help you to advance in your careers and to do whatever you love. But the problem is sometimes like only when you're going to go through this path, that's when you will understand like, oh, instead of me doing this, I was supposed to do this, that and that. So that's why like, this is like one of the goal for my YouTube channel and for this vlog. So I can share about my experience, what I went through and what kind of decision I made and to reflect on the decision that I was supposed to do, which I missed. So that's why people who are going to watch my videos will understand and will see my mistakes and hopefully do it otherwise and do better. That's why like one of the thing when you go through all the stages, you have a lot of things that needs to be done and you need to be organized and you need to be, you need to optimize your day. You need to get as much as you can out of your day, but at the same time, remember about like all this like Trinity, or oh, it's four, three, Trinity is to have healthy body, healthy mind and healthy spirit. So that means if you will go, yeah, of course you can go like open the book and study math for like 10, 10 hours straight and stuff, but that's not going to be a solution because you're going to study like this math for like two, three, four, five days, maximum a month. And after this, yeah, like your brain is going to be dead. You need to rest. It's the perspective that I like to think about this is the following that imagine that you need to go to the gym like six hours per week. There is a difference if you're going to split the six hours that you will going to do like one hour every day versus when you're going to take all those six hours and just do it in one day. So this understanding how your physical body is going to feel can be communicated the same way to your, how your mind is going to feel, how your spirit is going to feel. So that's why whenever we organize our day as a college student, PhD or postdocs, we always need to make sure that our body works properly, that we are healthy. Because based on this, if, 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 if you feel some physical pain or whatever, you're not going to be studying the math. So that's kind of the first component is just have healthy body. The second thing is healthy mind is I came from Eastern Europe and I was raised with completely like not understanding the importance of like therapy, of reflection on your life, of journaling and other stuff. And that's really important because there are so many things that can be unconscious that we don't understand, which kind of building up, building up in our body, some sort of pressure, unhappiness and other things. And if they going to build up up to the point when you're going to have some sort of emotional explosion, you're going to burn out or other stuff. It's also bad because when your body is in pain, you're just not able to move. But when your mind in pain, when you like burned out, you just don't want to do anything. That's it. For you is going to be, you won't want to just lie on the couch with zero motivation and kind of do nothing. So that's why it's really important through your studies and stuff. Um, in the morning, like for example, when you wake up, just do a little bit journaling, go on a walk. So that's, that's why, for example, what I do right now, after my work day, when I take bus from UBC to downtown Vancouver, I don't go up to my apartment right away. What I do, I get off bus a little bit earlier. So that's why first I can get my steps in. Second, I can either listen to some lecture, 
talk to my friends, catch up on some other stuff, do this vlog. So I'm using this time as a some sort of self-reflection where I will work on kind of this mind healthy based exercises or whatever. And that's really important. That's really important sometimes take a minute to yourself and just reflect what is going on outside as uh, the stronger you're gonna have those like, three components mind body and spirit the more productive successful and the more happy you're going to be in life and that's at least that's that's my philosophy that's what i i'm trying to do about my life okay and the last one is the spirit so the spirit is it depends like from your perspective if you believe in god or don't believe in god i, I will probably take the perspective of in the meaning of art we have fiction and non-fiction literature if non-fiction literature works for your mind it's when you going to get the knowledge out of the source and whatever oh let me but we also show vancouver it's like this city looks super sci-fi-ish especially when it's raining yeah if from non-fiction you're getting some sort of knowledge and stuff but from the fiction whenever you read other people's stories emotions you're getting something that is not encoded like in terms of uh, like like knowledge as a base but it gives you some sort of it teaches you empathy it teaches you to see beautiful it teaches it gives you experience that you will not go and experience yourself for multiple reasons because you're born in a different time you're born in a different place but to read those things to just go to a museum go to some art gallery go and listen some symphony even if you don't under understand it it's also really important because yes we have our goal like we want to do math we want to be better in math and you want to i don't know like pick the problem and just you have multiple reasons and motivations why you want to do math and just drill it and just kind of be the best and just enjoy whatever you do but in the end of the day it's also important to understand there is so much foundation and so much around it which is really important and sometimes it's really difficult to manage and to handle all of that so that's why i'm trying kind of to think about and to see my life from the perspective that we have like those three components uh but body mind and spirit and that was one of the motivation to record this video because i wanted to share what i do in order to try to balance those three things that it takes me one hour let's say like 40 45 minutes to get from my apartment to the university so that's why during the time i'm trying in the bus read something listen to something talk to someone and after the bus to get off a little bit early to get my steps and to record this uh, vlog and do some other stuff please let me know what do you think about today's topic of the vlog and how you are trying to approach the questions and the things that I have discussed. What do you do through your day, through your days, weeks or months that to try to optimize your lifestyle? Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching. Bye.